what is going on guys so welcome back to another youtube video and it's damn near nuts to think but we're officially in the off season and if you know anything about bodybuilding that means it's time to eat it's time to train hard it's time to lift heavy everything that is kind of like the epitome of of bodybuilding and uh it's definitely an incredibly exciting time for me post show ready to get strong again really excited to be eating again and i actually just announced something even more exciting than all of those things on my instagram today i have actually picked up my first sponsorship so i'm now working with a company called beam b-e-a-m and it's short for be amazing they got two game-changing products that i can say with a completely completely clean conscience that are revolutionary for me personally so the first thing is this vegan protein so this shit zero indigestion like you know how you have whey and it just kind of sits in your stomach you might have the nasty ass farts it's not a might it's more of like a probably it's kind of a guarantee that like your stomach is gonna feel some type of way when you have whey vegan took care of this for me and I'm really happy that Beam is the company that I got to try vegan protein from first because they did an incredible job on the flavoring. I have a peanut butter smoothie and dude, it literally tastes like something you would get from Smoothie King. It is fire. And then the pre-workout. This is the one. So with Beam's pre-workout, they include natural caffeine as their main, you know, caffeine source opposed to synthetic. I can tell you 100% with a completely clean conscience that that shit feels completely different than a regular pre-workout or an energy drink. You don't feel that crash. You, have you ever noticed how you drink a cup of coffee and you feel like sustained energy throughout the day and it's not like this, like hitting a brick wall like three hours after you drink it? It's like that. It very much reminds me of that. Opposed to drinking, uh, what, like having a Mr. Hyde um, pre-workout or ghost or really anything to where it just it, you are lit while you take it and then you just hit a wall that shit is like it feels nice while you're you know like up but then it's like debilitating later on in the day especially if you have like work or any type of responsibility where you've got to be like focused locked in it's just not a good feeling but this with them including natural caffeine and 125 milligrams for one scoop 250 milligrams for two scoops it is definitely something that like i can i can promote and feel completely like all in all this is a product that i can promote and feel very positive about doing so and not feel like i'm trying to sell anything at all this i would recommend to anyone so with those two things out of the way we're gonna go ahead and get over to the gym we got like a little bit of a more uh, odd combination of muscle groups today. We're hitting lats, we're hitting triceps. I hit it once before. It's a it's a silly ass workout. So let's go ahead and hop into that. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. All right, so I've had this car for like a look, like like a year now, something like that. And basically, when I was looking for a new car, like. I knew I wanted subs, and when I got this car, like the day I got it, pulling it off the lot, I was thinking, dude, the first thing I'm doing to this is getting subs. It's been about a year later, just got subs last week, um, dude, but it's so nice, because I had a blown base for like months, but let me, let me show you all this. I don't know, it might sound really distorted, but like, hopefully this song, hopefully it's like, let's just, let's just, let's see, let's see. I'm a so like hopefully this. we don't get copyrighted. How the fuck you want nobody controlling you? But you let that person no, make this you shit mad. They controlling you. What you gonna do when you fall? Tell me, bitches ain't nothing. Jump, fuck you, this bitch that you play. Bitch, you ain't nothing. 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 Bitch, you all right, so we made it in the gym, and I want to take this quick little second to just let you guys know about something that is literally like damn near life-changing considering I'm in the gym every day. Okay, 
So I have to do 25 minutes of cardio three times a week. That's one aspect of this. The second aspect is the pump is stupid. So let me let me explain. Let me let me backtrack. Warming up with 10 minutes of cardio to where like you're working up a nice sweat right before you hit the weights. For me, that's 10 incline 3.4 speed. The pump is instantaneous. You know, like when you aren't warm, you're cold, you go into the gym, you might be like two exercises in, maybe like four or five sets in before you start to get a pump. This, different. Walk up, get off the treadmill, you're hot, you're, you got a little bit of a sweat going. First exercise, 10 reps in, you have a nasty pump. So that's like my like pro tip for y'all, even though I ain't a pro as shit. Let's, let's, let me hop on the treadmill. So lats and overall back development is like my overarching goal when it comes to what I really need to bring up before I step on stage again. So <clears throat> we got two back days per week and dude, the volume is silly. My first set on lat pull, 25 reps. We grow, we grow. Originally on my plan, I have skull crushers and that movement feels really bad on my wrists and on my elbows. I know a lot of that has to do with hand placement, but I've not found shit that really compensates for the pain at all. Um, so I decided to go with uh, a close grip bench for my first tricep movement. And I'm pumped. So we're going to hop into these table extensions now. All right, guys, that is going to be a wrap on today's workout. Some shit. I have never 
been through a training program with this much fucking volume. Alex, why did you give me three sets of 30 on this? I don't know. But I mean, it's it, literally in eight to 10 months, it's gonna be a different. There you are, motherfucker. I was trying to, come here. I was, come here, come I was here, having come a here, conversation. Come here, come here. So this dude, my boy Kaden, that boy CT. That boy. That boy. That boy. October, Summer Shredding Classic. This man is finna show out. I'm yeah, telling y'all right now. Special. I'm telling y'all right now. He is, what are you at? 16 weeks out? Yeah, uh, Saturday. Saturday was exactly 16 weeks. 16 weeks. This boy's getting leaner. I can already see the, the diet face starting to come in. He got the cheekbones too. He got the cheekbones too. You gonna pop. You gonna yeah. get him to pop. Yeah, bro. You were getting lean. Oh, I yeah. like it. But um, basically, I'm gonna be down there in Houston that weekend again. And I'm so hyped for that. That's kind of besides the point, but I just want to throw that out there. Be on the lookout for him. His Instagram will be somewhere down here in this vicinity. Follow your boy. But uh, that's going to wrap up this workout. Um, hey, man, it's a long off season ahead of us, but my head is in the right place. I'm getting it in the right place. And uh, there's just a lot of growth to be had. So I will see you guys in next week's video. If you haven't hit the like button yet, go ahead and hit that motherfucker. Hit that sub button for me, too. I will see y'all in the next one.